Greetings, y'all. Today we're going to be cooking a French classic called Ratatouille from Provence with a few twists. Let's get to it. Ratatouille was originally considered a food for French peasants where they would use whatever was cheap and available in the kitchen. Feel free to add your own twist. Quickly, this is how I'm going to cut all the vegetables. You cut off both ends, toss those aside, maybe save them for a stock. And then it's going to be about three millimeters wide for each slice. I'm going to do these for the zucchini and for the sweet potatoes. Now the beautiful thing about ratatouille is that there are no hard and fast rules. This is like the nam. So I'm gonna slice up this beautiful king oyster mushroom and layer it with the rest of the vegetables. Now for the onions, I'm just gonna slice them. Uh, it's not gonna be a fine dice or anything. So just cut them in half like that. One more hemispherical half like that, and then just so over the bell peppers, just gonna cut them like so, and into strips, and then cut the strips in half like so. That's good enough. And you know what, just for the heck of it, I'm going to add a purple carrot to the mix to add a little bit of depth. So as you can see, I got whole tomatoes, but no worries. I'm going to take this device to it, hopefully not make a mess, and see how it goes. So what I do is I take this wonderful tool, it's a garlic press from Good Grips, put about two or three cloves of garlic in, press it out, shave off the garlic, take the inside and chop it up, do that for about ten cloves of garlic just to have a pile at the ready. So what I'm going to do now is to salt the eggplant, just in a big white bowl. I'm going to mix them by hand. Now the reason you salt is to draw out the bitter juices from the eggplant. See, I laid out the eggplant on a baking tray so that uh, they can start to sweat the bitter juices out. You want to leave that there for about a half an hour. We're going to pat them dry, like so. See all that moisture being soaked up. And then throw them in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. As you can see, they have a nice hue to them. And pull these out, let them cool. We're going to saute the zucchini, a little bit of olive oil, a of butter into the pan. And then throw in the zucchini, straight. Add salt and pepper. I'm going to saute this for about five minutes. And at the very end, I'm going to add some chopped garlic. Another common mistake that I've seen experienced chefs do is they overcook the garlic. I always want to add it in at the end. Garlic is a very delicate herb and it deserves to be respected. Now the zucchini's been sauteing for about five minutes. They're soft, I add the garlic, mix it up, cook it for no more than 30 seconds. And next I'm gonna boil the sweet potatoes, just enough so that they get cooked through but not too soft. 
Basically, it's only been about three minutes for the sweet potatoes since they're sliced so thin, so I'm going to yank them out. Now, for the king oyster mushrooms, what I decided to do is lay them out on a pan with a wire mesh underneath and paint them with olive oil. Now, it's been about 13 minutes. I'm going to check out the king oysters, and you can't really smell that, but it smells fantastic. 13 minutes, baked at 375, just enough time to release all the flavors. Ranch the purple cabbage for about three minutes, four minutes until they're soft. Whoop. Bam. I'm gonna give it another minute or so. Uh, give, make it a little softer. So now we're gonna saute the onions and bell peppers. Again, olive oil. And dab. And knob of butter. Get that going for a bit. Make sure it's a nice solid medium heat. And then add the peppers and the onions. Do not add garlic at this point. You're going to add garlic at the very end. This is going to saute for about 15 minutes or so. So it's time to add the tomato sauce. On the pureed. Add both cans. You can start adding all your spices. I have some fresh parsley. Throw that in there. Some dried herbs, oregano, some thyme, and other general herbs, the Provence, majoram, savory, a little rosemary if you have it. You can also add some tomato paste as well. I'll show you a pro tip. I had uh, cut the bottom out before, so you can just push it on through. Should come right out. So after simmering for about uh, 30 minutes, I'm going to add the garlic. And as I decided to add some red onion at the end, uh, just because it's a mild onion, and to, it'll add a little bit of freshness to the dish. And to add a little velvety texture to it is it's about five tablespoons of heavy cream and one egg yolk gonna, and a quarter of it has been reduced now I'm gonna add the egg yolk and heavy cream mixture and I'm gonna fold this in here and add a depth to it look at that color it's beautiful now it's time to build the layers of our ratatouille and I used this uh, purple cabbage. It's not traditionally used but I had it in the fridge and I don't want to waste anything. Plus it tastes delicious. So that's going to be the base layer and then I'm going to add a layer of the tomato sauce. Make sure it covers the entirety of the bottom there. Try to make it even. I start adding one each of the sliced vegetables, something like this. The first layer of vegetables looks pretty and presentable. Now I'm just gonna throw in some basil, just fresh, loose. After that's done, I could add a layer of cabbage, but I'm gonna wait, hold off on that. Another layer of sauce, as you can see, just covering it all up. The final layer, I did decide to add the last bit of purple cabbage, finish it off. So I have about three layers of the veg in a spiral. I'm going to throw it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. So for the moment of truth, I just pulled it out of the oven. It's been 45 minutes. Juices are boiling around the edges. I'm going to open that up and see what I smell. Oh God. Mm something else so i hope you do got... i have any ice left i need some um, hot water yeah it's right there mel so i hope you guys enjoyed the making of ratatouille a very hearty vegetarian meal classic french tonight i'm going to finish off with a lafroig four oak and a cao pilon cigar keep cooking until next time